Church, praise the Lord. Please, can we stand? Can we stand? Can we stand? Can we stand? If you are excited to be here this morning, can you do something for the Lord? If you are excited to be here this morning, can you do something for the Lord who made it possible? Praise the Lord. Are you sure you're excited? Are you sure you're happy? Do something for the Lord. Do something for the Lord. Do something for the Lord. Can we appreciate his name of the Lord? Please help me this morning. Begin to, begin to praise the name of the Lord. Begin to appreciate his name. Begin to give him thanks for the privilege to be here this morning. Uh, we may not understand that life Great. is a privilege. It's a privilege to be here this morning. Can you help me and begin to appreciate the name of the Lord God Almighty who has made it possible. Some said that they couldn't get to their destination. They ended on the way. But the Lord God made it possible for you to be here this morning. There are some people who desire to be here this morning. They couldn't make it. But by his mercy and grace, we are here this morning. Can we lift our hands to appreciate the name of the Lord God Almighty? Can you bless his name? Can you appreciate him this moment? Oh, that you are wonderful, that you are faithful. I magnify your name, faithful God. Oh, thank you, Jesus. He said, with joy, we withdraw from the throne of majesty. Accept those, only those who come with joy. Only those who come with excitement can draw, can draw from him. Can we be excited this morning? Can you appreciate the name of the Lord? Can you begin to remember of his goodness, his mercy? The times of hopelessness that the Lord came, he gave you hope. The time it seemed that all hope is gone, he appeared. Can you give him times? Can you magnify his name? When men think that they will laugh at you, the Lord showed up. Can we magnify his name? Lord, we worship you. Lord, we magnify your holy name. Lord, we give you praise. I want you to be excited this morning. I want you to be excited this morning. Can you give him times? He's faithful. He's faithful. He's worthy of our praise. He's worthy to be magnified. Oh, we bless your name. Lord, we magnify your holy name. We bless you, Jesus. Lord, we thank you, Lord Jesus. We thank you, everlasting Father, this moment. Lord, we thank you for good health. Lord, we thank you for provision. Some lost their accommodation this week, but the Lord didn't allow you to be among those. Can we worship him? Can we magnify his name? Can we glorify his name? Let's thank him for the privilege to be saved. It's a privilege to be saved. Can we magnify his name this moment? Lord, I give you thanks. Lord, I magnify your holy name, King of Kings. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Lord, you are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be praised. Lord, you are worthy to be praised. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let me tell you something. Some of us are not excited. That miracle you are praying for, somebody had it. That testimony you are looking for, somebody had that testimony. But you know where he is now? He is in the mortuary. Somebody has that testimony you are praying, you are kissing God off. But the person is lying down in the hospital helpless. But the Lord God Almighty has given you ability to stand. The Lord has given you ability this moment to be in his presence. Can you lift your hands and worship him? Can you lift your hands and appreciate the name of this Lord God Almighty? Oh Lord, we worship you. Lord, we magnify your holy name, King of Kings. That you are the Lord of Lords, you are the ascent of days. You alone is worthy of our praise. That it be our exalted this morning. In the name of Jesus we pray. In the mighty name of Jesus, begin to pray this moment. I want you to ask the Lord God Almighty to have his way. Let's begin to pray that the Spirit of God will have his way today. Begin to decree that you are not returning the same way you have come this moment. Begin to pray this morning that you are not returning the same way you came. Begin to decree, Lord, I have come to see you. I have not come to see the pastor. I have not come to see the priest. Me, but I have come this moment to fellowship with you. Begin to call the Holy Spirit this moment. Begin to decree that I am not returning the same way I have come this moment. Begin to pray that the Lord God Almighty will reveal himself to you. Lord, I am not returning the same way I came this moment. Only those that come to him with expectation receive. Can you come with him? Come to him with expectation this morning. Can you come to the Lord with expectation this morning? Can you come to the Lord with expectation this morning? 
Lord, we bless your name, Jesus. Lord, we magnify your holy name, saints of days. Lord, we bless your name, Jesus. To you be all the praise this moment. In the name of Jesus. Father, we decree and declare this meeting is open today. In the name of God the Father. In the name of God the Son. And in the name of God the Holy Spirit.
Are you excited to be in the presence of the Lord this morning? If you are excited, just jump on your feet and shout hallelujah! To the left, to the right, to the left, to the right, to the right, to the right, to the left, to the right, to the left. Hallelujah! Who is like you, Lord, in all the earth? World. Hey, nothing in this world will satisfy. Jesus, you're the crop that won't run dry. I say, everybody, let's say.
Yes, we put our hope in Him. Oh God, we put our trust in Him. Yes, we put our hope in Jesus. So we put. to thank the name of the Lord. Let's begin to worship Him, O oh Lord. Let's begin to thank Him. Let's say sweet words to Him, O oh Lord. Let's begin to magnify His holy name, O oh Lord. Lord, we appreciate Your holy name, O oh Lord. We thank You, Father Lord, for everything, O oh Lord. Lord, we worship Your holy name, O oh Lord. We bless Your holy name, O oh Lord. Thank You, Father Lord Almighty. Thank You for everything, O oh Lord. Thank You for everything, O oh Lord. Thank You for your provision, O oh Lord. Thank You for Your saving grace, O oh Lord. Thank You for loving us, O oh Lord. Thank you, Lord, for being faithful, O Lord, even if we are not faithful, O Lord. Lord, we worship your holy name, O Lord. You are faithful, God, O Lord. You are righteous, God, O Lord. We bless your holy name, O Lord. We thank you, Father, Lord Almighty. We exalt your holy name, O Lord. We praise your holy name, O Lord. We magnify your holy name, O Lord. Blessed be your holy name, O Lord. Blessed be your name, O Lord. Blessed be your name, O Lord. The King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the Hell shall die, the Yahweh, O Lord, the Lily of the Valley, O Lord, the beginning and the end. Lord, the way maker, O Lord. We bless your holy name, O Lord. Do God and make the way where there's no way, O Lord. Blessed be your name, O Lord. Blessed be your name, O Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Bless his holy name, O Lord. Bless his holy name, O Lord, for he's so good, O Lord, for he's a faithful father, O Lord, for he's a faithful father, O Lord. Blessed be your name, O Lord. Blessed be your name, O Lord. O Lord, you are so great, O Lord. You are so great, O Lord. You are so great, O Lord. You said in your word, O Lord, that who can give counsel to the Spirit of the Lord? No one, O Lord. You make you use the foolish things of this world to make to confirm the wise, O Lord. Lord, we bless your holy name, O Lord. Blessed be your name. We worship your name, O Lord. We magnify your name, O Lord. Be thou exalted, O Lord. Be thou exalted, O Lord. Be thou exalted, O Lord. Thank you, Father, Lord Almighty, for everything so far, for making us, O Lord, to see a new year, O Lord. Lord, we worship your name, O Lord. We bless your name, O Lord. Be thou exalted, O Lord. Be thou exalted, O Lord. Be thou exalted, O Lord. O Lord Almighty, Lord, we worship your name, O Lord. 
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we worship your name, Lord. Blessed be your name, Lord. Blessed be your name, O Lord. O oh Lord, we appreciate your holy name, O Lord. Thank you, Father, Lord. You said in your word, O oh Lord, that in everything, O oh Lord, we should give thanks, O oh Lord. We just want to thank you, O oh Lord. We just want to praise your holy name, O oh Lord. We just want to give our glory to your holy name, O oh Lord. Thank you, Father, Lord Almighty. Thank you, Jesus, O oh Lord. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name, O oh Lord. Blessed be your name, O oh Lord. Be thou exalted, O oh Lord. Be thou exalted, O oh Lord. Be thou exalted, O oh Lord. Lord, we worship your name, O oh Lord. Thank you, Father, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Brethren, let's begin to cast out every spirit of disobedience, O oh Lord. Any spirit, O oh Lord, that is making us, O oh Lord, to do things contrary to the word of the Lord, O oh Lord. Let's begin to cast it right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we cast away, O oh Lord, every spirit, O oh Lord, that's making us, O oh Lord, to go against your word, O oh Lord, that's making us, O oh Lord, to do things, O oh Lord. That, has, that is not according to your word, O oh Lord. We cast it out, O oh Lord. We cast it out, O oh Lord. In the book of Ephesians, O oh Lord, Paul was talking about the spirit of disobedience. That with the spirit that walked in the children of disobedience, O oh Lord. Lord Almighty, we cast out, O oh Lord, every spirit of disobedience. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we cast out every spirit of disobedience, O oh Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every spirit, O oh Lord, that is making us, O oh Lord, to do things, O oh Lord, that is contrary, O oh Lord. To your word, O oh Lord. Lord, we cast it down, O oh Lord. We cast it away, O oh Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We cast it away, O oh Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We cast out, O oh Lord. Every spirit of disobedience, O oh Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We cast it out, O oh Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord Almighty, you want to live, O oh Lord, according to your word, O oh Lord. We don't want to live, O oh Lord, according to what, as the word dictates, O oh Lord. Instead, O oh Lord, Father Lord, we want to live, O oh Lord, according to what you say, O oh Lord. Help us, O oh Lord, to, 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 to live out the purpose you have created us for, O oh Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Help us to live out, O oh Lord, the purpose, O oh Lord, you have created us for, O oh Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the Bible said, O oh Lord, it said, What shall it profit a man who gains the whole world and loses his own soul, O oh Lord? Lord Almighty, O oh Lord. Solomon said that everything is vanity upon vanity, O oh Lord. Lord Almighty, O oh Lord. Help us, O oh Lord, to live according to your word, O oh Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Help us, O oh Lord, to move according to live according to your word, O oh Lord. To, 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 to go according to your will, O oh Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. To live out your will, O oh Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We don't want to go against your commandments, O oh Lord. We don't want to go against your word, O oh Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So, Lord, we cast out, O oh Lord, every spirit, O oh Lord, that is making us to do things that is contrary to your word, O oh Lord. We cast it down, O oh Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And Lord, we pray, O oh Lord, you shall give us, O oh Lord, the enablement, O oh Lord, to live according to your word. To enable us, O oh Lord, to, 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 to obey you, O oh Lord. Give us the grace, O oh Lord, to live according to your word, O oh Lord. Give us the grace, O oh Lord. To walk, O oh Lord, according to your will, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Give us the grace, O oh Lord, to walk, O oh Lord, according to your will, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Give us, O oh Lord, to be obedient. Give us the grace to be obedient, O oh Lord, to your word, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Give us the grace to be obedient to your word, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord Almighty, give us the grace, O oh Lord, to be obedient, O oh Lord, to your word, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We don't want to go against your commandment. O Lord, Lord Almighty, we want to live, O Lord, according to your will, O Lord. Give us grace, O Lord, to be obedient to your word, O Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, because you know, O Lord, that's all that matters, O Lord. Give us grace, O Lord, to live according to your will, O Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, to be obedient, O Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, all the days of our lives, O Lord. Give us the grace, O Lord, to be obedient, O Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, to follow your word, O Lord. To follow Follow your will, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Give us the grace to be obedient, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Help us, O oh Lord, to live according to your will, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Help us, O oh Lord, to live according to your will, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Give us the grace, O oh Lord, to be obedient, O oh Lord, in Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you are a youth in the house this morning, can you raise your hands and shout hallelujah? Okay, some people are not, some people did not raise their hands, okay? 
That Gio said, if you're below the age of 82, then you're a youth. I don't think I see anybody in that category this morning. So I need everybody to raise their hands to Jesus and shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you so much. Please be seated. You're welcome to church this morning. Can you turn to your neighbor and say you're welcome to church this morning? You have to do it with a smile. Don't frown. Say you're welcome to church this morning. Can we clap our hands as we tell our children to go to their classes? All our children can begin to go to their classes. Hallelujah. We'd like to say thank you so much for coming to church this morning. We're so glad to see your beautiful faces. In case you're wondering what is happening today, is our youth, our young adults, take over Sunday. Okay, we're all youth. So everybody needs to see youth. We have vibe. We have ginger, right? So when I say youth, hallelujah. Hallelujah. We want to thank our pastor, our mommy pastor and daddy pastor for giving us this, trusting us to take over service. It is not easy. And you can see that even from the beginning, you can see we're capable, right? We have fire. There's fire in us. So let's say thank you, daddy pastor. Thank you, mommy pastor for trusting the youth. Um, today is our young adult takeover service. As I said, the team for today is rooted in Christ. The service will be taken over by the young adult, all true. And this is going to be a quarterly service. So every three months, you're going to see our beautiful faces here with our vibe and ginger. Every three months, we'll be here in Jesus' name. Amen. So the young adult, um, Yazim, is uh, the youth ministry of the Redeemed Christian Church of God in North America. And in this church, we have a very vibrant, as you can see, vibrant branch. It is happening. It is happening. We have hangouts. We have get-togethers. You know, we go on trips. So if you're a young adult and you would like to join us, please, Sister Tofumi is here. Brother Dayo is here. Make sure you see them before you leave so you can get connected. It is happening, okay? Jesus is in our midst. We'd we'd like to tell you welcome again, and we ask that you relax, enjoy, and be blessed in the house this morning. The Lord is here, and the Lord will meet us all at the point of our needs. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise the Lord. Youth in the church, praise the Lord. Church, praise the Lord. Um, our first Bible reading is taken from the book of Psalm 1, verse 1 to 3. And it says, Blessed is the one who does not walk in the step with the wicked, or stand in the way that the sinners take, or sit in the company of the mockers, but whose delight is in the law of the Lord, and who meditate on his law day and night. Verse 3, that person is like a tree planted by the streams of water, which yields the fruit in season, and whose leaf does not wither, or what, and whatever they do prospers. Praise the Lord. Our second Bible reading is taken from the book of John 15, verse 1 to 15. And it says, I'm the true vine, and my father is the gardener. He cut, out, he cut off every branch in me that bears no fruit, while every branch that does bear fruit, he prunes, so that it will be even more fruitful. Verse 3, you are already, cl- already clean because of the word I've spoken to you. Remain in me, as I also remain in you. No branch can bear fruit by itself. It must remain in the vine. Neither can you bear fruit unless you remain in me. Verse 5, I am the vine, you are the branches. If you remain in me and I in you, you will bear much fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing. Verse 6, if you do not remain in me, you are like a branch that is thrown away and withers. So branches are picked up and thrown into the fire and burned. Verse 7, if you remain in me and in my words remain in you, Ask whatever you wish and it will be done for you. Verse 8, this is to my Father's glory, that you bear much fruit, showing yourself to my disciples. Verse 9, as the Father has loved me, so have I loved you. Now remain in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will remain in my 
he will remain in my love, just as I kept my father's commandment and remain in his love. Verse 11, I have told you that this is so, that my joy may be in you, and that your joy may be complete. Verse 12, my command is this, love each other as I have loved you. Verse 13, greater love has no one than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. Verse 14, you are my friend, if you do that I command. And verse 15, I no longer call you servant, because a servant does not know his master's business. Instead, I've called you friends. For everything I've learned from my father, I have made known to you. Praise the Lord. May the Lord bless the reading of his word in Jesus' name.
faithful promises Your history can prove There's nothing you can do You're faithful and true Though the storm may come and the winds may blow I'll remain steadfast And let my heart learn when you speak a word It will come to pass Great is your faithfulness to Oh, great is your faithfulness
clapping for Jesus Christ right that was not for God that was not for the King of Kings that was not for the Lord of Lords that was not for our Father our healer that was not for our restorer our defender our firm foundation our solid rock the ancient of days the Lord strong and mighty the Lord mighty in battle the one who loves us and loves us recklessly the one who loves us and loves us without holding back if that is for Jesus I want you to lift your hands and clap and clap for Jesus 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 thank you God thank you God to me there's no wall you won't kick down now you won't tear down coming after me there's no shadow you won't light up no shadow you won't light up mountain you won't climb up coming after me there is no wall you won't kick down jesus One more time, sing. There's no shadow you won't light up. No you won't light up. Mountain you won't climb up. Coming up to me. Oh, no what you won't kick down. No you won't kick, kick down. Now you won't tear down. Coming up to me. Sing. Oh, the overwhelming, never-ending. part of this whole thing but something came to my mind and obviously the Holy Spirit dropped something or reminded me of something so sister told that you know now you didn't used to be the same sister told okay that's for back for foundation I used to be very rebellious oh God very rebellious and I remember one time Like I was failing at school. This is back in Nigeria. And my, my dad called me very, he's, my dad is very like mild mannered person. And he said, why are you failing? I mean, like what is going on? And he didn't talk to me for like a while. Cause he's like, I know you can do better than this. And I was like, okay. I thought about it you know, to myself for a long time. The next semester wasn't better. The next wasn't better. I think it was like the fourth semester. And I remember a message that my dad sent to me. He said, it doesn't matter how many times you fall, as long as every time like you rise, like every time you fall, you're rising back, right? In, and I know it's my father. So, I mean, maybe he has no choice but to still push me but the way, even in his anger, like he was angry. He was like, you're not even, even, you're not going to class, you're not doing all of this. But even in his anger, he didn't give up on me. He, he didn't say, oh, this child is gonna be, like, do you want to go on? Because I know some parents would be like, Shufa Lokoshe, like at this point, let's just go and find work to do because you don't want to go to school. He said, I know you can do it. I know the thing that is in you. I know the potential that you have. And I'm not going to stop pushing you until you become who I know God has created you to be. And he continued and he continued and he continued and he never stopped until I got it right. And that is my, my earthly father that it kind of like has a choice at some point. But our God who says that if I don't, if an earthly father, if you ask him for bread, he won't give you what? 
how much more I the overwhelming never ending reckless love of God it leaves the 99 the ones who are okay they're fine and finds the one the one that is just a fraction a very minute fraction of the whole and it says no this one is even more precious this one is so precious I would not give up on this I don't care if the lions come and attack me as a shepherd I don't care if the, the bears come and attack me as a shepherd I will go through thick and thin to find that one and Jesus came down and said I am that shepherd that good shepherd I am that one that I would give myself up as long as you don't go to hell as long as you don't fail as long as you, 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 you reach the potential I know that God has predestined for you so I don't know what it is in your life that um, shows the never ending love of God for me that was just it and that's, that, that was magnified like oh my God God loves me so much if my dad loves me so much and never, never gives up on me when I was rebellious how much more God all oh, the overwhelming Reckless Father, we thank you. We thank you, God. Yes. He lives in 99, and I don't deserve. For Jesus, give it up for Jesus, give it up for Jesus, give it up for Jesus. Hallelujah. Turn to your neighbor and say, You're welcome to church. You're acting like you don't like your neighbors. Talk to your neighbor and say, You're welcome to church. How are you doing this morning? Are we good? Amen. Oh, God is good. God is good. God is good. Whew. So, we titled um, our this year rooted for Yasm. I, I felt like that was the word that God kept. Like, I think in November, God kept telling me, rooted, rooted, rooted. And I'm like, I don't know why. But eventually I found out why. Um, rooted in him. Rooted in him. Um, pastors, thank you so much for this opportunity. Thank you for trusting us, um, us little children, to, to take over your, you know, poop it small. Thank you. Thanks a lot. We appreciate you. We got continue to bless you and favor you in Jesus' name. Let us turn our Bibles to Psalm chapter 1, verse 1 to 3. Psalm chapter 1, verse 1 to 3. Psalm chapter 1, verse 1 to 3. And I'm going to be reading from the NLT version. Psalm 1, 1 to 3. It says, All the joys of those who do not follow the advice of the wicked or stand around with sinners, or join in with mockers. But they delight in the law of the Lord, meditating on it day and night. They are like trees planted along the riverbank, bearing fruit each season. Their leaves never wither. Say amen. amen. Their leaves never wither. And they prosper in all that they do. And they prosper in all that they do. It's like it's only a few people that are wanting prosperity. And they prosper in all that they do. That's more like it. What does it mean to be rooted? When, when we hear the word rooted, what's the first thing that comes to our minds? We, we, we think um, trees, right? We think about trees with roots. When I was, um, I don't know, younger, uh, we're trying to plant, we're planting um, trees around our compound. We had a net. Well, we had 
a farm, kind of, on the, on the land. And so we're planting trees. And my little brother, he has a green thumb. He likes to plant stuff everywhere. He plants sugar cane. He plants everything in the house. So he's our, our little farmer and my mom, too. And so one day, he was trying to plant something really close to kind of like the front of the, of the house. I mean, there was land there, but... And my dad was like, oh, I want to see the seed you're trying to plant, right? Um, and my brother was like, well, does it really matter? I mean, as long as I mean, the, the ground is f- uh, fertile, so we can, we can plant anything. But um, my dad was like, well, I want to see the, the seeds so that I can know what kind of plant uh, tree it's going to be. Because some trees, their roots go so wide that they could affect the foundation of the house. And for me, I mean, I knew obviously that, I mean, we did agri in school. We knew that, they, I mean, trees have roots and stuff. But I never thought about what goes on underneath. We see some of the roots kind of on the, those bigger trees. We see kind of some of the roots, but we don't really know how far they can go. But I mean, because my you know, parents are wiser, so he was like, no, there, there's some trees that you have to plant them in the forest basically because they cannot be around houses or pavements or anything because it will break them and cause like a, you know um, you see some roads that are kind of like cracked sometimes it's because of roots we should be like that we should be so spread out that any obstacle that comes in our way, we destroy. We should be so rooted, not just in depth, but in, in width, in, in just expanding and expanding and expanding, that everything that comes in our way is destroyed. What does it mean to be rooted? To, be rooted is to establish deeply and firmly. So not just depth, but it has to be firm. Some things can go deep, but they're not firm. Do you, are, you, are you getting me? Some things can go deep, but some, not all of them are firm. So to be rooted, you, ha- you need both of them, depth and firmness. Another definition I saw is to be formed made or developed by using something as a basis. Who is our basis? Who? Jesus Christ is our basis, right? So to be formed, made, or developed by using something as our, as using Jesus Christ as our basis in this example. Another um, definition is to render firm, to fix, establish, cause a person or thing to be thoroughly grounded. Um, apart from like the regular, um, you know, religious or Christian answer, yeah, Jesus grounds me. Every one of us have, we all have something that grounds us. For some people, it's friends. For some people, it's family. Some people are like sporty people. So like, oh yeah, if I, if I don't work out today, I'm just going to go down, right? I'm not that person, obviously. <laughs> some people, everyone has different things that, that, that grounds them, that anchors them to the ground. Um, the ships, when they, when they, also when they park, I don't know what ships do, but when they're at shore or something, they need an anchor so that they don't just set sail and just be going on their own, right? Something that grounds us is our root. That is our root. Now, Jesus is supposed to be our root. Amen? What are some uh, facts about roots? Number one, the last time I was here, remember we we did mass, right? The first time I came, we did uh, swimming lessons. Today is a Greek. Facts about roots. Roots cannot exist alone. Have you ever seen a root that is just one? They have to, like, be... I don't know, again, I Greek fibrous roots and, you know, they have fibers, right? They have to spread out. They never exist by themselves. Roots um, should not grow above the soil. It's not normal for a root to grow above the soil. They're supposed to be under the ground. That's why they're called roots. I'll explain why later. I Greek class, I Greek class. 
Roots are sensitive to light. Let's open our Bibles to Matthew chapter 6, verse 6 to 7. Matthew chapter 6, verse 6 to 7. And it says, but when you pray, go away by yourself. Shut the door behind you and pray to God, um, your father in private. Then your father who sees everything will reward you. Seven, when you pray, don't babble on and on as people of other religions do. They think their prayers are answered merely by repeating their words again and again. Let's look at 18, verse 18. Matthew 6, 18. Then no one will notice um, that you're fasting except your father who knows what you're doing private and your father who sees everything will reward you. Some of us in our, uh, I mean, some of us still do it now. Like now that we're doing this fasting, uh, we attribute everything. Oh, it's because I'm fasting today, that's why. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm hungry, but because I'm fasting, I'm going to break it to um, three. And we're all announcing it, whether, whether we, we mean to or not. But we do say that. Jesus is saying in, was saying in um, six, um, Matthew 6, 6, saying that whenever you pray, go in private. One of the things that roots us is our prayer life, right? For our tree to blossom, it has to be done in private. Remember, roots are light sensitive, They thrive in the dark, in the private place, in the secret place. And some of us um, are scared of the dark. I remember when um, I was when I was little. I don't know if this is the same story for y'all. My brother would come and wake me up in the middle of the night because they passed the candlelight, obviously, and everywhere is dark because he wants to use the bathroom. So he needs someone to escort him to the bathroom and just stay like, okay, because he's scared of the dark. When we are in the secret place, when we're in that dark place, one, we rely more on Jesus Christ. We rely more on him to lead us because we're afraid, because we are not sure, because we're, we're there's so many uncertainties that happens in the dark. But that's where the magic happens. Because if you're confident in the dark, when you are in the light, there's really nothing that can stop you. If you are someone who worships in the dark, someone who praises God in the dark, no one really needs to ask you. They will know that you're a worshiper. It will come out. Um, there's one of our choir members. I'm going to put him on the spot. But I might not. Whenever he, he's here leading the praise and worship, and he said something in our meeting recently, he said that for him, he likes to wake up in the middle of the night and pray, right? And when he comes here, you will see that. Like he just, I, I mean, sometimes we can't like put some shade on him, be like, oh, just don't bother telling Brian Manuel the list. Holy Spirit will lead him to do whatever he wants to do at the end of the day. And God takes the glory at the end of the day. But you will see it that in the dark, he has put in some work. Roots are light sensitive. Whatever we cultivate in our dark place, whatever we cultivate in our secret place, whether it be prayer, uh, whether it be um, fellowship, whether it be, whatever it is we cultivate in our, in our secret place, um, it, it shows forth in how our trees look. Amen? Moving on. Roots have depth and reach. Roots have depth and reach. Uh, in Matthew chapter 28, 18 to 20, um, 20 that's the Great Commission. Uh, go into the world, baptizing them in the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, right? Uh, teaching them to observe everything that Jesus has taught us. We need to have reach. Um, if we are rooted, again, roots cannot stand by themselves. So we, we need other people to join us. There's this picture that I sent. I don't know if they can project that uh, picture. We'll talk about it later, but 
it's just one of the interesting facts or fun facts I saw. Um, were you able to do it? Oh. Okay. It's called the buying tree. Let me just talk about it. Um, that tree is one tree, right? The roots, like each branch, I'm trying to explain from pictures, each branch has a root. Think of a tree, many branches. Each branch just grows down into the ground and forms a root. And then those roots form another like stem up, have branches, those branches form another root. So that tree is one unit. They don't call it, uh, uh, they don't call it many trees, they call it just one tree. And it is 400 and something meters wide. One tree, the roots are that widely spread. When we do evangelism, right, when Jesus tells us to make disciples of all nations. It's just like that. We're still one body, but each branch is having roots, germinates, make more fruit, have more roots, germinate, make more fruit, will multiply, but it's still what? One body. Roots have depth and reach. Now, roots have purpose. There's a purpose for roots. What do roots um, do for a tree? Roots, they, they gather, um, they anchor the tree, number one, you know, keep it in place. Um, two, um, roots are to be nurtured. Um, if you don't nurture roots, forget about the tree. You need to keep watering. You cannot overwater your roots, too. You cannot just keep on putting, oh, okay, they put on the, the picture. So can you see what I'm talking about? All of that looks like many trees in the forest, right? But it's one tree. They call it just one tree. And I found it so fascinating. Like the, the government, I think it's India, they had to build a, um, a road around it for people to like travel around the tree. But it's one, because above, I think the next picture you see it, it's just one canopy like that, one tree. <clears throat> that is who we're supposed to be as a body. That is who we're supposed to be as a body. Okay, so roots, um, you know, uh, what are perishable um, fruits? Let's go, I Greek students. Perishables, berries, okay, tomatoes, most of them come from, no matter how long they can be preserved, they, they perish. If you don't preserve them, in some way freeze them, freeze time, right? Roots have to be nourished every time. If you don't nourish them, they will perish. Roots absorb nutrients from the soil and give back to the tree. There's, there's a slogan that they taught us in Bible school. They said that put the word of God in you when you don't need it so that it will be there for you when you do need it. So in a time of peace, in time of calm, start fortifying yourself with a word. Just learn scripture. Just be like, oh yeah, I'm the, you know. So that in the time of battle, you don't have to open your Bible to fight the enemy. You don't have to start... Um, oh, what's that scripture for mercy? Oh, what is that scripture for healing? What is that scripture for? Like, you are ready to fight that devil with the scripture. Remember Jesus in the wilderness? He didn't have to look for reference. When he was growing up in the temple and his mother thought that he didn't need it, he was enriching himself. He was enriching himself. And in the wilderness, in the hardest parts of his life, one of the hardest parts of his life, that word was there. It is written. You can fight the enemy with the word. Nourish. Nourish your roots because that, those roots will grab the nutrients and nourish you as a Christian. Amen? Dangerous um, to weak or no roots. If you have no roots or if your roots are weak. The tree is as a, it's as a risk of withering and being neglected. In our Bible reading today, um, John 15, 
1 to 5 or let's put up um, John 15, 6 real quick. John 15, 6. Anyone who does not remain in me is thrown away like a useless branch and withers. We will not wither in Jesus' name. Such branches are gathered into a pile to be burned. Remember our sister who came yesterday, um, last, week, last week to give her testimony of how God redeemed her and restored her to the fold? God removed, removed every form of withering. I don't know what the adjective for that would be. Um, and restored her back to health. If you're away and you're not bearing fruit, or you're not remaining in God, you're not nourishing, nourishing your roots, that person is useless, is like a useless branch, withers because there's no nourishment to that. And I said that uh, that, that, that tree can be neglected because if you see something that is not really beautiful to the eyes, you just forget about it. Um, you have you, you make effort in the beginning, but at some point you're like, mm, there's no hope for that anymore. So sometimes that tree could be um, neglected. The tree would be a hazard to other people because remember when I said that roots don't grow up, up, above the soil? If they grow above the soil, um, that means they're not really stable underneath and they could fall. And they'll fall on anything in their way. Let's open our Bibles to Hebrews 12, 15. Hebrews chapter 12, verse 15. Hebrews chapter 12, verse 15. It says, look after each other so that none of you fails to receive the grace of God. Turn to your neighbor and say, look after me. Turn to the other neighbor that you like more and say, look after me. It says, look after each other so that none of you fails to receive the grace of God. Watch out that no poisonous root of... Hmm, no poisonous root of... It's tricking us now, but that's why we're not to say it. No poisonous root of... Uh -huh, grows up to trouble you. And then what does it say? Let's look at it in the NKJV version. Looking carefully, lest anyone fall short of the grace of God, lest any root of bitterness springing up to cause trouble, and by this many become defiled. When the tree falls, it doesn't just fall by itself. It falls on whatever it is that is around them. It corrupts everything around them. Poisonous root of bitterness. It poisons the fold. No matter how healthy Example, I bought this box of habaneros, right? May God forgive me. I bought this box of habaneros and I just let it out there for a while. Guess what happened? Huh? One of them inside, like everything on top was looking beautiful, nice, oh, fresh and orange, great. And I was like, just like, oh, let me shake it small. One of them was already decaying and it started spreading to the other ones there, little by little. Imagine if I'd left it for longer than that. Wouldn't it corrupt everything? It just takes one poisonous root to poison all the roots. To render the whole tree useless. Turn to your neighbor and say, look after me. The wind can easily blow the tree away. Remember the, 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 the house built on the rock? Whenever the wind blows, nothing happens to that house. It stands firm. Stands firm. Nothing can shake you. Nothing can move you. Nothing, nothing can knock you down because you're firmly rooted. What feeds our roots? Worship, like I said earlier on, your worship. He's my worship, all of my worship. Your worship feeds your roots. Meditation. Joshua said that on this law of the Lord, I'm going to meditate day and night. You cannot be rooted without the word of God. Roots 
they move towards new trends, where they get the most new trends, right? So imagine if there's just one, there's only, there's more strength on one side. What will happen to that tree? To turn to whatever side that is getting new trends from. But if they're all balanced, okay, uh, you cannot just have very little of prayer and plenty, plenty, plenty of the word of God. What are you using the word of God to do? Or you're always praising, 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 praising. You're like the happy person, never in battle. There's no battle. There's no war in the spiritual realm to you. So you just, oh, praise the Lord. Um, how are you doing, sister? God is good. Nothing is, there's no time for warfare. Like, that's not the kind of Christian I am. I'm not fighting anybody. I didn't offend anybody. But what does the Bible say? We are wrestling against what? Principalities and past. Whether you like it or not, they are day. So you cannot just have one new trend. You need to have a balance of all of them. All of them. In worship, in meditation, in prayer and fasting, in fellowship. Look at that tree. That tree that, it didn't come from just, oh, I'm just feeding myself. It's just me and myself and I. I really don't have to. Um, Pastor was talking yesterday about um, house fellowship. Some of us are not in any house fellowship. Because the things we cannot discuss here on Sunday in house fellowships, which is, which is really how the church started, the early church in the Bible started, was in those small units. Once they're so strong, remember, they'll branch out again, form roots again, become so strong, form roots again, and they'll have a formidable, formidable tree, one body. Let's open our Bibles um, quickly to the book of Ecclesiastes 4, verse 12. Ecclesiastes 4, verse 12. It says, though one may be overpowered by another person, two can withstand him. Withstand him. And a um, threefold cord is not easily broken. I don't know, for the ladies among us, when you do twists in your hair, when you, like braids, you want to take them out, you just lose it like this, and it's, I mean, easy. But with on the three cord one, you have to go or just cut it. And if your hair is long, oh, sorry for you, you just have to, like from the beginning, it is not easily broken if you're like bound together. The last one, which I think is, for me, it's one of the most important ones as Christians. It's waiting. We don't want to wait for nothing. Trees don't grow like this. When we come to Christ, we need to be cultivated. We need to be poured into, into what, what, what are the person. You, you, know, you see small leaves, then after a while, to grow taller. After a while, it starts seeing those, um, I don't know the term for it, like, looks like fruit, but it's so green. And then it forms a tree. It takes time. Peter in the Bible, it took time for him to become um, who God wanted him to be, right? It took many tries from Jesus, from Peter to be who God wanted him to be. He was angry all the time. It took time when the Holy Spirit descended on that dude, his life changed. Paul, on the other hand, Many years of persecution of Christians, one, in, um, one encounter with Jesus, his life was changed. We are all different because we're, we're different trees and we require different nutrients. Our needs are different. Know the kind of tree that you have. Don't try to compare your growth to another Christian's growth. Focus on your tree. Focus on your own salvation. This is salvation is personal. Walk out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Don't look at another person's salvation. Because it really does not concern you. On the last day, it's just you and God, man. Just you and your Savior. The Bible says in Isaiah 40, verse 31, But those who wait on the Lord shall renew their, their strength. They shall mount... mount <laughs> okay, Holy Spirit. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Those who wait. 
Those who wait upon the Lord. If you're not willing to wait, your tree is at the, the risk of not being firm, even if it's deep. You need firmness, not just depth. You need to be firm. Are you with me? But how do trees start? What's the first thing, first thing you need for a tree? A seed. And Christ said, if you have a seed that is um, faith like what? And our faith is likened to our belief in Christ, our confession of Christ as our Lord and Savior. There is no tree, there is no us without that first step of saying, Jesus, I don't care what the devil comes my way. I want to be like that tree that is planted by the river, that is always, always getting nourished and always prospers. It starts with the seed of faith. Can we bow our heads and close our eyes? I don't know if there are some people here this morning that want to say, God, no, I don't think my tree is that rooted. I don't think my tree, maybe I have a lot of information, but I've really never even put it to good use. Someone said that the fact that you grew up in a, in a Christian home does not make you a Christian. You have to make that step yourself. You have to say yes to Jesus yourself. Your parents cannot do that for you. Because on that day, you, only you would have to answer to God and say, God, this is how I lived my life. And maybe your tree was, you know, rooted before and all of a sudden you stopped watering it. You felt discouraged. Someone said something to you. You felt discouraged. You got hurt. And you questioned God. I've been there before. I questioned God for a lot of things in my life that I felt like God should have, should have intervened on. And I stopped watering my fruit. And I started to wither. The devil dealt with me. I don't want that to be you. And I don't know if that is even you right now. So if that is you, if you are here and you say, oh, Sister Toe, I don't know. My tree is not planted that deeply. Can you just raise your hand this morning? That I want to start watering my tree all the time. I want to spend more time in the word. I want to um, pray more. I want to be more committed to the fold of God. I want to be like that, that big by an tree that is connected and looks so beautiful. If you're here, I want you to just raise your hand. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we worship you for your word. We thank you for planting us so deeply, for being so interested in us that you said that if we keep on just in being connected to you, that you will not cast us away. Lord, in any way that we're not bearing fruit, in any way, oh God, that we're not doing the things that you want us to do that is nourishing, that would nourish our roots, oh God, have mercy upon us. Forgive us, oh God. In any way we've fallen off the track, bring us back on track, oh God. Bring us back to the fold and let us stay connected to you, oh God. Father, we worship you. Lord, we thank you. We pray that we will be like that tree planted by the river of water. We pray for prosperity on our trees, oh God. Holy Spirit, Reveal to us those ways in which we have threatened our trees. And help us, oh God, to correct them. In the name of Jesus. We thank you for all of this. In Jesus' name we pray. And everyone says, Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord.
Uh, good morning, church. It's time to give your tithes and offering and uh, church building project funds. We like to use this time uh, to thank our kingdom partners. Uh, through their partnership, the church building project is ongoing. Weekly services are sustained and the outreach community programs are reaching many people for Christ. You may join this partnership through your free will offerings and first fruits, the giving of your tithes and redeeming pledges for the community outreach and the building project. You may give it through uh, traditional means or electronically. Electronically, you may give by Giveify or Secure uh, or Securely Give. Uh, just search for Cornerstone Church Austin. Uh, we also have a Zelle um, at uh, info at cornerstoneatx.org. And you can also give by the website, cornerstone, um, www.cornerstoneatx.org. Uh, for you can also send in your offering uh, to the ch uh, to the church's postal address. Uh, it's on the screen right there. You can also scan, use your QR code right there to give as well. And if you need a, a, a envelope, just raise your hand up. I'm not sure we'll give you a, a your envelope. Oh, uh, let me pray over the offering. Oh, oh, rise up, please, church. church. <laughs> My fault. I'm a little nervous. I'm a little nervous. But thank y'all. Thank y'all. Thank you, God. Thank you uh, for this offering. Uh, before I pray, uh, this verse just came into my head. Uh, Uncle Saji, uh, when he used to do the offering, he used to say, um, Luke 6, 38, I believe, uh, give, and it shall be given unto you. Good measure, good measure. Uh, pressed down, shaken together, and running over. As you have, as you have given, let it be, God will give unto you as well. 
Okay, Heavenly Father, uh, our hearts are filled with gratitude. We thank you, O Lord, uh, for you the source. For you are the source of all uh, all of our blessings, O Lord. Uh, God, as we present these off, uh, this offering and tithes unto you, O Lord, uh, we just uh, ask that you remember to open the floodgates of heaven when we honor you, O Lord. We just thank you for this day. We thank you for this offering in Jesus' name. blessed by the ministration this morning Ooh. if you were blessed by the ministration this morning give a round of applause for Jesus we can all have our seat please it's time for the announcement if you'd like us to celebrate your birthdays with you or your anniversaries, please scan the QR code. It's a church teams app and we'll celebrate your birthdays, your anniversaries, or any type of celebrations that you have. Every Wednesday, we have the Bible study and this past few Bible studies has been great. If you'd like to join us, we have Bible studies every Wednesday at 7 p.m to 8.30 p.m. Central Time via Zoom or YouTube via our CCG Cornerstone Church, Austin. We ask that everybody subscribe to the church YouTube channel and the church Facebook page. Every morning before you leave your house, you have to command your day because you don't know what is outside. You don't know what you're going to meet. You don't know anything. So if you'd like to join us, we have the Command Your Day every Monday to Friday at 6 a.m. to 6.30 a.m. Baby Dedication and Thanksgiving. Call the church number 512-582-0034 or see one of the service managers. Water Baptism. If you've given your life to Christ but you've not been water baptized by immersion after conversion, I would love to do so. Please call the church office at 512-582-0034 or see the Kines Bola for enrollment. Whew, not to evangelism. <laughs> to evangelism. As Sister To was just preaching, I was like, oh God. If you like to be deeply rooted or you already rooted, and you would like to be like the tree to bring more souls to the body of Christ. Please join us for evangelism every first Saturday. In fact, everybody must be there. March 1st, please let's come out in numbers. Let's come and preach the gospel to people at 10 time, 10 a.m. 1st of March, venue Capital Plaza. Me, I'll be there making attendance. Every last Saturday, Sunday, of the month, we visit church sites to pray. Clap, 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 clap. We all can't wait to move to our new site, and I'm excited. Our fellowship is for new members and current members. If you like to talk or there's something like you like to share, please find one house fellowship close close by to you. Sunday school takes place every Sunday from 9:35 to 10:15 where we dig deep into the word, which prepares us for the main service. Now we have the Sunday School Manual, which is available. Please see Major Steven. It costs $15. Maybe just $15. Please just purchase yours. Our fasting and prayer is still ongoing. Every Saturday and Sunday at 7 p.m. Central Time, please kindly join us to pray for 30 minutes on Saturday and Sundays. If you're a first time worshiper, please signify. Online, please signify or drop in the comment section. If you're a first time in house worshiper, please signify. Let us welcome you to the house of the Lord. Okay, nobody, that's cool. Nobody, right? Okay, now we'd like to call on our pastor and our daddy in the Lord, Pastor Wale. 
and pass and pass some misses to come give us their blessing. Please, please come for them. A better war. Praise the Lord. Um, announcement still continues before blessing. Praise God. Can you put this up, please? There is an Austin Marathon is happening next week, Sunday. And Cornerstone is an integral part of that run. Someone called it a race. I call it a run. <laughs> Whatever you're racing with is with yourself. <laughs> because the, 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 the thing is that run to win and run to finish. And that's what we are going to do next week. If you still want to be part of the run, it's not too late. You can register on Austin Marathon website. You can do 5K, you can do half marathon, and you can do a marathon. Um, there is a cause why we are participating in this. We are participating because uh, the Lord, uh, he, he's done me well, so to say. He did us well. He did us well. He saved the life of one of our children, Isaac. Isaac went through a tough time and God brought him out. In fact, he's a warrior. I will just give you a short testimony about, you know, during the time he was in the hospital. I think the day after the surgery. And um, they wanted to put a catheter or bring a bedpan for him to pee. This three-year-old said he was going to go to the bathroom. He walked to the bathroom crying and he was walking. So that's the kind of boy that boy is, which shows that there is a hand of God upon him. And what the enemy planned cannot succeed. And so in honor of God for what he has done for us, for the family and for us as a family, we are participating in this run. And we are not just participating, we are raising funds. And 100% of this fund is going to Dell Children's, where Isaac was treated. You know, this country has a lot of facility for us. We, take, we make use of the, uh, of the provision that is av available, and we don't look back. But Cornerstone, we are not like that. We want to look back and say thank you to Dell Children's. So we are raising fund, and I am appealing to everyone, please be part of this fundraiser. Our goal is 20K, and I believe this house can do it. So please, we want to push for this this week um, to our friends, our colleagues, our co-workers. Um, these cards or flyer is available um, for you. It's also available online. It's actually on the church website, and I tried it yesterday. Just click on it, it will take you there. So you can share our website with your friends, with your co-workers. And let's do this. And to the praise of our God and to thanks to Dale Children's. Blessed be the name of God. Amen. Amen. So you can either donate or you can run, right? Both. But you can both. Do both. Or you can do both. Oh, yeah. 5K, 10K, no, half marathon. No There's no 10K. 5K, 5K half, marathon, half marathon, and marathon, and then full marathon. Praise the Lord. And all the brothers were going to do the half marathon. It's the sister that is asking. Eh? <laughs> Praise the Lord. So please, uh, we do encourage. Uh, let's give generously towards this. And as you do so, the Lord bless you richly. Uh, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Uh, once again, we just want to thank God for our Yaya Yazin group. Amen. So I think I'm just going to take next month off. They said every quarterly, we'll just turn over the whole month of March over to them. And then I can go on vacation knowing that all, all is well. 
let's just give a, a, a God a, another clap offering. Hallelujah. I, I think you guys did very well. And we thank God. We thank God. We thank God. Uh, we thank God for you. So we're going to have a quick word of prayer. And I'm also going to use that psalm, psalm 1. And we'll read the first three verses. He said, O joy of those who do not follow the advice of the wicked. And so, Father, I commit this, your children, into your hands. And I pray, everlasting Father, that it that only that by your spirit, Lord, you will continue to lead these ones. Only by your spirit, you continue to guide them. You continue to direct them. I pray, everlasting Father, your word says that, that do not stand around sinners or around with sinners. I pray, Jehovah God, you will pick their friends for them. I pray, Almighty Father, any bad influence in their lives, you will severe them from every ungodly influence in whatever form in whatever manner sometimes it could be a podcast sometimes it could be something they're reading or they they're listening to it could be an influencer that they're following lord i pray today every ungodly influence in their life by the blood of jesus christ we severe today in the mighty name of jesus christ I pray, my Lord and my God, that the Lord, that these ones, your hands will be upon them. Uh, their desires will continually to please you. Their desires will continually to walk in obedience to your word. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Your word said they shall be like tree that is planted by the rivers of water. Father Lord, I pray, lack shall be far away from this one financially lack shall be far away from them in the manner of wisdom lack shall be far away from them strength wise lack shall be far away from them all around lord you will continue to bless them you will continue to exalt them you continue to uplift them father i pray lord that you continue to distinguish them in their sphere of influence your hands will continue to be upon them that they will be like salt that will continually influence people in their own sphere of influence in the mighty name of jesus christ on their job you will prosper them in their businesses you will prosper them wisdom from above father you continue to grant unto to them and i pray father for your anointing upon this one i pray father lord that your spirit will rest upon them the spirit of wisdom the spirit of understanding the spirit of might the spirit of counsel the spirit of the fear of you father lord it will continue and the spirit of knowledge it will continue to rest upon these ones in the name of Jesus Christ, your glory will continually be upon them. Wherever they are, Lord, they will continue to shine for the kingdom of God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, and my Lord and my God, everything that they lay their hands on, you will continue to prosper. And Lord Jesus, I pray that your spirit will continually be in them to lead them, to guide them, and to direct them. And Father, their lives will continue to exalt you. Their lives will continue to glorify you. And Lord, I pray even in this ministry, you will do great and mighty things beyond that which they can imagine or think. Father, you will do through these ones in the name of Jesus Christ. And we give you all the praise. We give you all the honor. Blessed be your holy name. Glory, honor, adoration be unto thy name. And Father, I pray that your word that has come forth today, I pray, King of glory, that you continue to breathe life into every hearer. I pray, Father, Lord, that that word will transform us. Lord, our desire is to be rooted and be grounded in you and the grace to continue to grow in you. Grant unto us, almighty Father. Thank you, King of glory. To you be praised, to you be honored. For in Jesus' matchless name, I have prayed. 
Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Praise the Lord, church. Hallelujah. We want to say thank you. We apologize um, for finishing a bit late. Um, but just to round up, we would like to ask every young adult to please wait um, after church, after service, so we can take pictures. The next youth adult takeover service will be May 12. So if you're here, you're young adults, you'd like to be part of the next service. Oh, pastor said the all of March. Okay, hallelujah. <laughs> so if you're here and you'd like to serve, please, we'd love to have you. We'd love to have new faces here every time that, you know, we take over the service so it can be more fun and we can show our elders how it is done. Okay, hallelujah. Oh, okay, the age... Is 18 to 35. 18 to 35. If you are married and you are 25, you are a young adult. Oh, 18 to ah, 18 to 40. Let's just do 55 now. <laughs> Hallelujah. So 18 to 40. It doesn't matter if you're married or unmarried. If you're within that age group, we'd we'll love to have you. We have the Yasm Convention coming up this year. It's going to be in Chicago, Illinois. Uh, last year we went to Houston and it was fun. This year we're planning to also all go down to Chicago and show them how they do it in Austin, Texas. So if you're interested, please see Sister Toe. Just wait. In fact, 18 to 40, please just wait. Please, please. Let us know ourselves. Let's connect. We have a WhatsApp group. You know, we do hangouts. We do meetings. Like today now, we're supposed to meet. If you know, you know, right? Do we know? Okay, some of us know. Hallelujah. Praise God. So, um, can you just turn to your neighbor and say, I will focus on my tree this week. I will water my tree this week. God will help us in Jesus' name. Shall we rise up as we share the grace and the benediction? May the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we will dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Shall we share our benediction? Deuteronomy 33 verse 27. The eternal God is our refuge, and underneath are his everlasting arms. It will trust out the enemy from before thee, and it will say destroy in Jesus' name. Happy Sunday, everybody. Thank you for coming to church. Hallelujah.